So guys, hello and welcome to another video. And as I already mentioned it in my uh, Gulf Air review, our favorite airline rating website, Skytrax, wants to sue me. So stay tuned for all the juicy details. So for those of you who don't know, Skytrax is pretty much the self-proclaimed leading airline rating website in the world, which every year holds the self-dubbed Oscars of Aviation, where they give out very questionable awards. So it's pretty much a bunch of old clueless dudes who run a very corrupt system of airline ratings. However, the most common words used by aviation experts, CEOs, or anyone who has a little clue about aviation are unreliable, ridiculous, or misleading. Or as my fellow YouTubers from Simply Aviation would say, scam tracks. So, but let me tell you about the most infamous case of Skytrax, among many others. Recently, Turkish Airlines, one of the best airlines in the world, was downgraded from a four-star airline to a three-star airline, which created a massive outcry in the industry. There were articles, tweets, and everybody shared their opinion how ridiculous this decision was. And it gets even more ridiculous. Lufthansa, a pretty solid airline, but nothing outstanding or luxurious, uh, was awarded a five-star carrier, um, and the very first outside of Asia, for a business class concept. Um, and, and business class they don't even have physically, and they say they're going to introduce in 2021, when they introduced a the new Boeing 777X. Anyone who's ever flown Lufthansa can clearly tell that their business class is pretty average, not even to say outdated. So even when it comes to Skytrax, it says a carrier has to have this product on 80% of their fleet, and at the moment it doesn't even exist physically. It is completely different with Turkish Airlines, which just received their new Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which has a brand new business class. And you can actually touch it, it's there physically. And it will go into service in July 8th. So Turkish Airlines pretty much has a more superior product than Lufthansa, and they have been downgraded for introducing this wonderful, beautiful business class. And Lufthansa has been upgraded for a concept, for a, like it's a graphic, it doesn't even exist. And that's why they have been awarded a five-star carrier, which is a complete ridiculous decision. So now you probably ask yourself, how does Skytrax work? So, well, let's start with a little disclaimer on their website, which says, this website, or Skytrax, has no financial association or affiliation with any airline or airport featured, which is clearly not true because I found a statement by Lufthansa uh, given to paddle your own canoe saying, they paid Skytrax a low figure sum in return of an entire analysis package, which then resulted in a five star rating. So this is a very contradicting statement because Lufthansa clearly said they paid Skytrax, while Skytrax says they have zero affiliation or association with any of the rated airlines. And I also remember from my time in China when I lived in Beijing, I ran a couple of campaigns with Hainan Airlines. I spoke at their events and they would clearly tell me that Skytrax is consulting them with their branding. So I was then told by higher management that Hainan Airlines is actually a customer of Skytrax. So Skytrax is consulting Hainan Airlines with their branding in order to make them a five-star airline. So pretty much how it works, Skytrax knocks your door. They offer to make you a five-star carrier within a few years if you purchase their branding package. That's how I understood. So when I was on the inaugural flight from Beijing to Calgary, even Kevin Crew would tell me how demanding the CEO, Addy, um, of Skytrax is. He demanded to be flown in a private jet to Tokyo because he didn't like the pollution in Beijing, or he was even gifted a house by Hainan Airlines. I don't know whether this is all true, but this is the rumors which go through the company. And I also always remember the marketing team telling me, oh, Skytrax is giving us such a hard time. So there's a clearly also a financial association or affiliation between Hainan Airlines and Skytrax. So if Skytrax is really an independent airline rating website, then I wonder why they work with all these airlines. So and how does Skytrax rate the airlines actually? Do they purchase their own tickets? No, just recently I had a conversation with an airline from Southeast Asia, which said they ask for a free return ticket, one in business class 
and one in economy class. So everybody knows that Skytrax is on board, which makes this rate, their rating system even more questionable. So they don't buy their own tickets and secretly order the airline. No, they let everybody know that they are on their flights. So once then your four star or five star status is established by Skytrax, the airlines are under pressure because they don't want to lose that status because many of those airlines actually brand themselves as a four-star or five-star carrier. So in recent cases have shown that when airlines don't provide free tickets or don't pay SkyTrax anymore, they will be downgraded. For example, Etihad, they've been downgraded from five to four star airline or Turkish Airlines from a four star carrier to a three star carrier. So pretty much Skytrax creates or puts pressure on the airlines to keep on working or providing free tickets with them. Otherwise you will be downgraded to a three star carrier or four star carrier, two star carrier, one star carrier, whatever. So the whole business model is pretty much based on pressuring airlines not to lose their ratings. So now we come to the interesting part, why does Skytrack wants to sue me? Well, after they made that ridiculous decision to downgrade Turkish Airlines from a four-star carrier to a three-star carrier, it was a massive outcry in the aviation industry and nobody, really nobody agreed with Skytrack's decision. And that all based because Turkish Airlines pulled out of the Skytrax rating. So I pretty much said that Skytrax is the most misleading and corrupt body in the aviation industry. And from my time at Heinen Airlines, I know that they pretty much knock, knock your door. They offer you their branding package in order to make you a five-star airline. So a few hours after this tweet, I received an email from Pete, Peter Miller, the head of marketing of Skytrax, that they're gonna sue me for defamation. So this email is pretty much part of Skytrax campaign to silent bloggers, journalists, aviation uh, experts who speak out against Skytrax and their very corrupt rating system. So then a day later, it got even more bizarre. Skytrax told me that they have emailed every CEO in the industry, warning them about me not to talk to me, not to work with me, which is probably one of the most ridiculous and childish things I've ever experienced in my whole career. Well, by the way, thanks Skytrax for putting me on the map. Now every CEO knows who I am. Thank you very much. And I think this is the real case of defamation here. Um, having Skytrax email every CEO not to work with me. I mean, you have to understand, those are grown-ups. They're in like their 60s and they behave like absolute snowflakes. Oh no, Josh said something bad about us. Don't work with him. Um, last time I experienced that was probably in primary school or kindergarten. Uh, Skytrax, grow up. So no Skytrax, you can't silence me. You can't silence any of my fellow YouTubers, journalists, aviation bloggers, whoever, because in the end, the truth will always win. And your corrupt little bubble will burst very soon too. Because this is why you have such a terrible reputation um, in this industry. And I think your actions speak, speak testament for the weird, misleading, ridiculous institution you are. So this is it, this was my video, this was my brutally honest review of Skytrax and I'll probably give you a bit of an idea how they operate, how they work, what kind of email they send uh, to media. Uh, so I think that gives you a very good picture of what a dodgy institution they are, what kind of people uh, work for Skytrax. So I think that should be a clear warning and um, I hope that helps you understand what Skytrax is really all about. So but as I said, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Skytrax, what you think of this particular case. And as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please share this video so we can make everybody aware of what a misleading institution Skytrax is. Thanks for watching.